there must have been like an altercation or a fight by the concession stand. So everybody was turning and looking up to where they're, they're selling the concessions. Yesterday, I wasn't even gonna vlog, but at the best of Tosh game, <laughs> there was a lot that happened. I got to the game right as the game was starting and immediately the gym wasn't full, but I felt the energy. A lot of great fans making a lot of noise. I immediately identified the ultra section. They had a small section, but they were loud and they, they were active. As I walked by the ultra section, I saw like a group of police, you know, standing right behind them. And, uh, you know, that's usually a sign that, okay, these fans, they'll get down if they need to. I went to my seat and uh, started to enjoy the game. They were playing against uh, Petkin Spore, and uh, Bessie Tosh was down pretty much uh, early in the game and throughout most of the game. Even though that gym is small, man, like it gets loud and you know the energy in there was really, really good. Um, the game was kind of going back and forth. Bessie Tosh was making some runs. Um, fans were getting really into it. At a certain point during the game, there must have been like an altercation or a fight by the concession stand. So everybody was turning and looking up to where they're, they're selling the concessions while the game is going on. But what really gave it away is I started seeing different men leave their seats and go into the concession stands. One guy, he took his jacket off, gave it to his girl, and he went upstairs. Another guy was about to go upstairs and then his girl was saying something. One dude took his shirt completely off and he went upstairs. And I don't know what that means in Turkish, but in the United States, somebody takes their shirt off and they go somewhere, they're about to go handle some business. Yeah, the altercation was going on for a minute. Like they were, I don't know what was going on, but uh, they finally got the situation calmed down and you know, the game was continuing guys. Things were calming down. So as the game went on, it was, uh, it was great. It was a back and forth game in regards to Bessie Tosh making runs, coming back. passionate, getting out of their seats. of the game, uh, Bessie Tosh, I think, hit a three-pointer and brought it back to like one point with like under a minute left or maybe even under 30 seconds left. And they got a steal and had a chance to actually like win the game, but uh, it didn't work out and they ended up losing.
But then after the game, madness continued. One of the coaches from Besiktas was trying to fight somebody from the other team. He had to be restrained and then they took him out. And then as the players were walking off the court, there was this fan that came down by where I was sitting and he was yelling at the players and I don't know what he was saying. I don't know if he was trying to, you know, get them to uh, lift their spirits up or if he was like cursing them out, but uh, he didn't look happy at all. Um, but yeah, it was a very, very interesting day and I was not expecting that. I was thinking it was just gonna be a regular day, regular basketball game, but uh, yeah, it was a great way to end this Turkish trip. Uh, I love the the passion of the Turkish fans, and um, it was it, it was a really cool environment. I'm glad I got to experience Besiktas. It's a beautiful arena, beautiful area. Um, I've always seen the team and, and and wanted to you know watch a game there. But Turkey in general has been amazing. Uh, I definitely recommend you know visiting. Uh, the city itself is, is beautiful. They have some beautiful bridges. Uh, over the water and uh, you get to really just see the city and you add that with the architecture and the hills and you can see the mosque and whatnot the mosques are you know beautifully constructed here and they're beautiful as well so there's just a lot of sights to see in Turkey and uh, I definitely recommend coming along with trying the the amazing Turkish food and and everything else but uh Turkey also has an interesting car culture. I was in Besiktas and I remember seeing a bunch of different cars driving down the street. New cars, old cars. I saw cars with subwoofers, um, cars. That's more great. than one car was bedazzled in like, I don't know, it was rhinestones or just something shiny. But uh, it, it was very interesting to see people with their cars, you know, at night making a lot of uh, noise. Um, you know, it reminded me a lot of Miami and uh, Los Angeles and places like in the States um, that have a car culture of their own. So I thought that was, uh, that was really cool um, just to see that, you know, the, this type of culture exists in, in, in other places. But uh, yeah, man, I, I'm in love with Istanbul and honestly, I can't wait to come back.